What is going on guys, it is Joe here and welcome to Building Bayern Episode 2. So in the last episode we only played one game, but in this episode we will be playing three games and I think I'm going to continue on with that fashion and just play three games every single episode to get this series going a little bit quicker. So as you can see here we're just changing the players around a little bit. Put the Bayern centre forward that we picked up last time at the cam position, so him and Bizarro gets very nice chemistry. And I'm just seeing what I can do basically chemistry wise with this team. So we go ahead and we connect into our first match here. And I looked at his team, I saw 100 chemistry, I put my head in my hands and look at this, I was very very shocked. I had no idea what's going on here, basically he has a full team team, I have no idea what team that is. I would guess a Polish league team because they're all Polish but... Still, he has a massive advantage considering he has really good chemistry. So, at half time, it ended in 0 0. We were sort of dominating the possession, but as far as shots and shots on target goes, we were completely even. However, due to the um, high amounts of possession we had, I felt we did deserve to be in front, but unfortunately, we are undone here in the 57th minute with a corner whipped in and. Our centre-backs again proved to be the weakness in the team and he wins a header and nods it home to make it 1-0. And then again he comes on the break, crosses in. This time our centre-backs do well and manage to head it out but it only falls back to his player who slots it home coolly. Um, so we could do pretty much nothing to, with that. However, that is not when the scoring ends as we run it down the wing with Beisler who puts it in and Pizarro nods one home. However, it was too little, too late for us. And that is how the game ends 2-1. So we do receive our first loss, which was massively disappointing. But we certainly do pick it up towards the um, the next part of the, well, the next games, actually. So as you can see here, we're just listing these players up for, like, 200 coins. That one I accidentally listed for 150. Then I decide to quick sell the ones that I don't think will sell whatsoever. And we're just going to go straight into the next game here. So we do end up connecting into our second game of this episode and the third of these series in total. Come back up against a guy with a team that possibly could you could argue is worse than ours, which was an absolute relief. 46 chemistry. He has gone out and brought a goalkeeper, I would think, because that is the highest rated player. Normally you only get three goals in your starter back, but apart from that, he's a complete starter back team. So we get the scoring going finally here with Pizarro. Getting a little bit of a cutback, but we had to do that in order to get that 1-0 lead that was so important. And Bizarro gets his first goal for the club, which was a great relief. Bizarro picking up again here, beating one man. Gets a little bit of lucky with the deflection back to his feet, but he slots it home very nicely, making it 2-0, getting his brace um, of the match. And, you know, that puts us into half-time. We were in a very dominant position at this Stage the possession was relatively even, however, as far as shots on target and shots go, so we were completely dominant in that aspect. And then again, here just in the 49th minute, Pizarro takes his player one way, turns around, and look at that for a finish. He just absolutely scoops that one round the keeper into the back of the net. Around about, oh, I just absolutely love that finesse shot. I really did enjoy that. I was about 25 yards out, and look at that just the way it curls into the back of the net. That was a beauty one to score. Again here, Pizarro getting some free space, heads it at the keeper. The keeper makes a good save, but we managed to get the rebound and slot it home. The, at this point, he actually pauses the game and rage quits. So he had had enough, and we end up taking the win. 4-0, fairly convincing, and that is the first win of the series, this guy, which was a massive, massive relief to get, and I was so happy. So we hop in onto another game here, which... Um, the latency is at red at the moment, but for some reason it was just like that and it was, wasn't was bad at all in the game, it was all fine. As you can see, his team again isn't very good, I think it's a starter pack team and it is indeed. Only three gold, gold players, very, very poor chemistry and again, we've got a nice draw and a good team to come up with against. I guess it was sort of lucky, but our team isn't exactly stellar and we sort of deserve that, so I assume it was a fairly even match. Apart from we do have one very, very good player as Pizarro. And he shows that there with an absolute thunderbolt into the back of the net. What a finish from him. Um, getting some space, beating the player and then smacking it with his right foot. The way that curled just before it hit the back of the net was absolutely beautiful. Again, Pizarro doing some lovely work, finding some free space and slotting it home. I really did enjoy that goal as well. Making it 2-0. Pizarro getting his second goal of the game already. And he is on quite the scoring streak, and that is certainly not going to end there. So we're going to watch that game, that goal again. He roulettes inside and scores. 
Vibrak and Bizarro linking up well, putting it through. Vibrak, Vibrak using his skill to get past the defender. And what a finish that is from the 63 rated Bronze Bayern Munich player. Look at that. Right into the back of the net across the keeper. I really did enjoy that. Um, and then again, a similar sort of goal across the keeper, but this time he puts it a little bit lower and the keeper was a little bit closer to him in the 82nd minute, giving us that 4-0 lead. Pizarro cutting inside, bent, then turning back in and finessing it across the goal. I don't really see those go in that often, but it was a very nice goal to score. Sealing um, Pizarro's hat-trick and making that 5 in 2 games for him, which was very, very pleasing indeed. He's a, been a great signing for us and I have loved using him. His finishing is just absolutely top class. Anyway, so as you can see there, we've got 7 points. We've won 2 games, so on a little bit of streak here. And I just go out and I've got 1,500 coins almost. So I thought, you know what, we're a little bit rich, so I'm going to go ahead and do some improvements to the team. So I looked at Boateng at first because I knew that we need to improve at the back. And then he was way, way, way expensive for now. So I thought, you know what, bad Stuber doesn't look like a bad player. I decided to try and pick him up for a good deal. And, you know, we're just looking around here. We are very low on coins. So we want to save as many as we can. So I decided to throw a few bids over on a bad Stuber. I took a look at Rafinha as well, but he was going for a lot of coins, a lot more than I expected. I thought he'd go for about 600 coins. However, he is like 1,100, and I tried to get him on a bid for a while, and I failed miserably. But in the end, we ended up going with two centre-backs just because, um, you know, I wanted to really cement the back and as you can see there I fail at getting Rafinha he just goes up way too much and we do end up picking up that bad stupid there and we just go stick him in the squad I think he'll be a great signing 62 pace isn't the greatest but 83 defending I had that is incredible and then also we get the big man Daniel Van Boyten 6 foot 6 he hasn't got the pace but he's got the height, he's got the strength, and he's got the defending. Eight defending isn't bad. It's a massive improvement as far as our defense was before. And we just go swap them around for chemistry. And, you know, our team's looking a lot more solid now. I'm a lot more confident that we'll be able to pick up some good wins. Just because our back line is a lot more solid. If we can get a few more coins together, maybe we can start building a proper good team now. Because it's starting to shape up, shape up very well. And we've got about, I think we've got four four Bayern Munich players and hopefully in the next episode we can actually pick up some more so actually that's the end of this episode I hope you did enjoy it. if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time goodbye